Welcome back, everybody, to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, we're going to go over a new one, at least new one for me today, uh, from my Nexus 6. Uh, this one here is called Dark ROM. Uh, it is uh, based pretty much entirely off of uh, LOS. It's basically LOS, um, Lineage OS, with a ton of Pixel features in it. And yes, it's Android uh, 7.1.2. Uh, it's working great. Uh, this is R2, by the way. Um, the developer's name is called Dark Eyes, um, and I'll tell you guys, uh, it's working. Uh, I kind of had my um, uh, my worries that with the 712 that we were going to have some issues with it, but so far, again, guys, it's just working right out of the gate. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and get right into this. Uh, as you guys can see, this is the Nexus 6 Android version 712. Uh, and it's lineage. Um, you guys can see that lineage 14.1. Uh, again, this is what it's based off of. Um, and uh, let me see. I don't uh, API level guava or seven. Uh, you can see it has the April 5th security patch in it. Uh, I am running Blackbird kernel. Uh, now, if you guys read the OP uh, in the thread, it does uh, say that um, you know. If you use a different kernel or any mods, you're not going to uh, get any support. Um, and I agree with the developer on that. Um, but since this is lineage based, uh, I do know what happens. You get force encrypted and I do not want force encrypted. So I use Blackbird kernel. Um, Blackbird kernel and I also flashed uh, Super, Super Sue SR3 uh, version 279. So just so you guys know. Uh, just I didn't want to go through and lose everything on my internal storage. So, since this is uh, completely based off of LOS, there are not going to be a lot of extra features on here, but we're there are a few, so we're going to go over them. Um, standard, uh, you have your display settings. Uh, this is what you're going to have on your display settings. Uh, you do have your brightness, uh, night mode, adaptive, you know, all that. Uh, you can set that up however you guys like. Um, again, I don't see anything really out of the ordinary on that. Uh, font size, display size, everything uh, is you know what we would come to expect um, with Nougat. And I didn't change anything on that. I'm leaving it. Uh, I, I'm actually running this as Flash, so I didn't change my display or my uh, my size on anything. Uh, sounds up next. We'll hit that quickly. Uh, it does have the link, uh, ringtone, and notification volumes, which I love that uh, feature. I like to having I like having my ringtone and my notifications separate from each other. Uh, so I do like that feature. As you guys can see, I have everything turned down except for my media volume, uh, just in case I get uh, you know a phone call or uh, a text. Uh, any of you wearing earbuds? <laughs> I know, man. I don't. You guys don't want to hear that. So I do have them turned down. Um, you have your Do Not Disturb, uh, everything else pretty much uh, standard, what I would normally expect to see on Nougat, nothing out of the ordinary there. Uh, let's see here, I, I'm trying to remember where all the custom buttons are. Uh, we're going to hit buttons. Um, navigation mode, now here's something that is really, really cool uh, on that I love about uh, about the latest nougat. Anyways, uh, by swiping across the um, your navigation bar like this, it turns it. It turns your phone into one-handed operation, and it works. Uh, I've actually been using uh, this quite a bit. It really makes it a lot easier to use. The problem with this is, I can't read it. For me, anyways. Now, I, I could see maybe on texting or something like that, but for just standard phone use, it's just too hard for me to use. But I can see where it would come in handy. Believe me, I've been using it. And it's as simple as a swipe back and forth on the navigation bar to get it you know, into the small mode and the large mode. So that is a really awesome feature I like uh, that's come with the latest... Um, you know the latest up, uh, update of Android, so uh, good on good on them for that. Uh, here's your button layout. This is going to be where you can uh, change your nav bar around. If you guys want to move your uh, uh, your back button over to the, uh, you know, if you like your, those buttons flipped, this is how you do it. You basically just you know press and drag 
and it'll just move your buttons around. I'm not going to do it. I like mine the way they are, uh, so we're just going to leave it alone. Uh, power menu. This is a standard um, lineage power menu. You're not going to get a lot of features on it. They do give you the screenshot um, and basically just a restart menu. Uh, you have you do have an end, the end call button if you guys use that. I used to use it quite a bit, and then I was inadvertently shutting it off, shutting my phone off, uh, because my screen would go off, and I'd hit the power button to get my screen to come back on, because I don't use double tap, and I was hanging up. So I, I just, I don't run it. Uh, but it is there for those of you that do use it. Um, security. These are your security settings. Uh, as you guys can see, I am not encrypted. Uh, which it actually went very well. The um, I do have to tell you guys, make sure you use the G apps that the uh, that the, de uh, the developer wants you to use. If you use the uh, G apps that um, are linked in the OP, you're not going to have any problems at all. You need to follow the directions. You flash the ROM, you flash the gaps, you boot your phone. Don't do any more mods or anything like that. Um, that's it. Once you boot your phone up, if you want to add uh, options like I have with um, my clear G apps, then I booted back into recovery and then I flashed my themed G apps and uh, you know my, uh, my TVO uh, theme ready gaps and then I flashed all of my clear Play Store, YouTube, so on and so on. Uh, but I did it after I did my initial reboot. And yes, uh, I did flash Super User and the Kernel um, on the very first flash. That way I didn't encrypt the phone. So just so you know. Um, status bar. Here's going to be where we get some of the settings that are pretty cool. Uh, you do have your quick pull down. Uh, it does come uh, set at off. So you guys going to have to turn that on if you want to use it. This comes with headers. I know Synogen Mod or LOS doesn't. I, at least I, ha I haven't tried the latest. I know the last time I tried it, it didn't have headers in it. Uh, but this does come with headers. Um, and if you download any of the headers from the Play Store, such as I did, uh, it will give you the, uh, the option to use them. I always hit random. That pretty much goes through what you have installed and just randomly throws something out. Changes about every hour, uh, somewhere around there. So every, you know, about every hour I always have something new uh, in my dropdown or in my header. Um, let's see, you have your network traffic, uh, your Wi-Fi. Let me see. I'm trying to think here. Bluetooth alarm. Now oh, here's your clock and date. Now here's where it gets interesting. Uh, they do have the clock settings uh, right, left, center. Um, and what's cool about this is they give you both uh, the day and AM, PM settings, which I like both of those settings. I don't want anything more than that, but I do like to have those. Um, they also give you um, a battery bar. As you guys can see, I'm running with no battery. I'm just running with a battery bar. Um, I can look at that battery bar and tell where I'm at a lot easier than I can with a, with a battery icon. So I like the battery bar and I am happy that they included it. I just wish that they would give us the option to color it because it's all, all it is is white. You have no color with the battery bar. These are your options. You turn it off, on. Uh, you can go to style, which is your regular or your centered. And that's it. Uh, charging animation. But again, I'm glad that they put it in there and I'm just running with it. Um, that's about it, guys. We're going to go ahead and hit the developer options so you guys can see uh, the developer options. Um, your advanced restart is in the developer options. Uh, if, you, if you guys do flash, super user. Um, no, they don't even have uh, root settings uh, in, in the developer options. So uh, Make sure you have your ADB uh, debugging turned on. And I can't think of anything else. Oh, they do have local terminal. If you guys know how to use uh, the terminal or even know what a terminal is, it's nice that they include that. Uh, I always like ROMs that include that feature. Uh, so good on them for that. Um, and it does come set at 1 on animations. And I just left it at 1. Uh, and the reason I did is because this is 712. And I just want to try it out. Uh, and if I start noticing a lag or something that's just really stupid, then I'll probably go back in here and set this at 0.5. Uh, so far, everything looks pretty good. I'm, I think I'm going to leave it where it's at. And then all the way at the bottom, they do give you the uh, Kill App Back button, which again is pretty awesome. That is it uh, as far as it goes for settings. Now, 
this is the launcher that it comes with, uh, which is really cool. Again, I'm running the clear, um, the clear versions of G app, so uh, it, there is going to be some differences from the way you flash it, but not too much. At least, uh, at least until I start opening apps up. Uh, but the way it looks right now is going to be how it looks when you guys open up uh, minus or sans the header. Uh, there will be no header turned on. So, um, the uh, substratum works out of the box. I just wanted to let you guys, I was trying to think, I had a brain fart. I was trying to think of uh, uh, some of the features I wanted to tell you. Um, three minute battery mod does not work. So, they're either going to have to come up with a zip or hopefully in an update, maybe they'll get it to work. Uh, that would be awesome if it did. I think that is about the only thing this ROM needs. And I know you guys are going to want to run this as is and probably not even run root on it. Just use Torp for root, uh, which is cool if that's what you want. Um, but I, I like to have that three-minute mod. So uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that that doesn't work. Uh, but Substratum does. Uh, Substratum's working great. Um, and uh, the rootless Substratum works. I did try that. Um, a disabled root, uh, you know, to use the super user uh, root remover, <laughs> and I went back in and tried uh, Substratum, and it works great. Uh, so no issues there. I did want to show you guys a new theme. Uh, I do like to show themes when I'm uh, flashing or, you know, uh, giving you guys a review. Uh, this one's called Neon Blue. It's not really new. It's been out for a while, but it's one that I haven't showcased in quite, a, uh, quite some time. Um, again, it's very easy. You just click uh, the toggle to toggle everything on, then run through the list, make sure that maybe there's something on there that you don't want uh, themed. Otherwise, everything on the list is going to get themed. Uh, you click on the, uh, the uh, paint roller icon, uh, hit build and enable, and you're good to go. It, it'll build it. Um, it will uh, reboot your system UI, and you'll be set to go, uh, and you won't have to reboot the whole phone. Now, since I've already enabled it uh, or built uh, or compiled the uh, theme and it's sitting in the background uh, uninstalled what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enable it and click OK and I'm going to go ahead and put my theme back on uh, since I took it off for the video I'm going to put it back on that way you guys can see what this looks like and I think this is a really nice theme uh, I think a lot of you are going to actually like it it uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> XDA apps closed. Uh, I did want to open that up and show you guys the thread, too. Um, this isn't one of those real over-the-top themes. It is a dark theme, so, you know, you know, it is what it is. But what I like about it is it themes uh, the stock launcher. Uh, as you guys can see, it turns uh, with a clear background with the blue highlights in it. So uh, I kind of like that. It's not over-the-top. Um, and it also uh, themes the... Uh, search uh, that way. Now I didn't try assistant. I didn't try to see if it uh, th themes that. Uh, doesn't look like uh, Google Assistant or Google Assistant gets themed at all. But you know, is what it is. Um, this is what the drop down looks like. I think it's pretty classy. Again, I don't think it's over the top. Uh, but that's my just my preference. I know a lot of you guys like stock, and that's it. So, uh, but this is settings. This is what that looks like. Now, this is another one of those uh, that, that um, it doesn't give you white-on-white, white, black black-on-black type situations, gray-on-gray. Gray. Uh, this, this theme's pretty nice. Uh, it's not very fancy, you know, it, it, but as you guys can see, um, it does theme the, uh, uh, my, my data indicator. And if I was to turn on my Wi-Fi quickly, uh, the Wi-Fi indicator will also turn blue, which is cool. I like that. It just adds a splash of color. Uh, in the um, uh, in the status bar, which which I think's you know awesome. Um, quickly, I'll show you the uh, Play Store. I'll let you guys see what that looks like themed. And this is what it looks like themed. Uh, again, it's not over the top. It's not anything crazy. And uh, let's see what else. Um, Gmail. Yeah, I'll let you guys see what Gmail looks like. That's it. I'm um, not going to open up my Gmail, I'll let you see it. Uh, Google, Google Plus. This is one that's really, uh, 
really hard for it to theme, but as you can see, this one's themed. And um, I guess I could open Hangouts quickly. I'm gonna open it and then shut it down. Yes, yes, I know, yes. But that's what Hangouts looks like, and I didn't give it time to really load. I didn't want you to see my whole list of people in there. <laughs> yeah, it just is what it is, I'm, you know, whatever. Um, but I'll tell you what, guys, uh, I like the ROM. It's really smooth. Uh, I've had no problems with this ROM since I installed it. None. Absolutely zero. Um, haven't had any reboots. Uh, phone calls work. Data works. I guess I could try the camera here real quick if I can find something to take a picture of. Uh, let me turn some lights on here. Um, I will uh, hit the camera, and yes, I did try it. So uh, there's the camera. We'll take a, a picture. And another one. And the camera's working. Um, and again, guys, like I said, I will uh, um, I can't show you the I can't show you the video camera because I'm actually making a video. Uh, that would be too much. It would really screw my uh, it would it just it would screw this video up. So but I did uh, try taking videos and the camera definitely works. Uh, as far as video goes. So everything's working on it. Uh, again, phone calls, uh, text, all that, it's all working. So uh, I say give it a try. Um, quickly, I'm going to show you guys the uh, developer, uh, Dark Eyes. I'm going to show you where to go. Uh, if you go to XDA, uh, I would highly recommend XDA app uh, on the Play Store. It's called XDA HD. Uh, go to favorites. Uh, well, my favorites. <laughs> you'll, have to pick your, you'll have to pick your own favorites. Uh, but under the Nexus 6, uh, Android development, um, it's right there uh, next to the uh, the very top. Uh, it's a very popular ROM. Um, it's really been getting a lot of praise. Uh, but these are the features right here. Of course, you can see the developer is Dark Eyes. Um, I'll slowly scroll through the features so you guys can uh, see what all comes with it. But it's just got a ton of pixel options on it. Uh, you guys can hit the pause button or pause button on the video. And uh, that way you can read through, um, you know, what all's here. Uh, and then I'll just scroll down. Um, but I'll tell you what, again, if you guys are looking for a ROM uh, in the uh, 7.1.2 variant um, that has a lot of Pixel features, I highly recommend it, guys. All right, that's about it. Um... I do have a, net, a video coming up I'm going to push out sometime today. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's going to kind of be a little surprise video. Uh, the video is directed more towards my subscribers. Um, and uh, you guys will have to wait to see it. So uh, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my subscribers. And I will see you on the next one.